What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Haley Cairo. If you guys are new and if you are a returning subscriber, I'm so glad you guys are back for another video. I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel and turn the notifications on and follow it along on social media so you don't miss any videos. We're doing so many giveaways for this back to school season, including this video, and I want you guys to be a part of it. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you my new Erin Condren life planner in the horizontal. It's beautiful, but first we need to move out of my old planner. I'm going to be showing you guys some DIYs, tips and tricks on setting up your planners. And I think you guys are really going to love it. Stay tuned to find out how you can win your own. Yes, you get your own. You can also always use my referral code to get $10 off your Erin Condren purchase. But let's get into this new setup, shall we? So last year I used an academic planner because I absolutely loved the little project planner section and I wanted to try out the horizontal layout. So there's things that I really loved from this and I want to put it into this new planner. So in the beginning I had a coil clipped in um, version of the sticky notes. I'm gonna show you the new ones though. And then some other dockets, some dry erase dockets and a vision board, which I will show you guys in my new vision board DIY, how to make these. And then I'm going to be cutting out the paper that I didn't use. I like to utilize everything in my planner and sometimes things don't get used every year. So I have some extra project paper or project pages in my old Erin Condren planner, as well as some extra note paper that were in the back of the months because in the academic planner, there was some extra paper. I think it was like four or five sheets actually per month. So I'm going to cut those out and trim them down. So that way, if I need to, I have extra paper to use coil clips in my new planner. So you can add in extra sections and make it super customizable. I also have which you can see here, I did the same thing in this birthday tracker that I made. It was just from an older Erin Condren piece of paper. So I'm also gonna cut out the extra stickers that I didn't use, so that way nothing goes to waste. Last year, I used one of the 3M sticky pockets on the back of this cover, and luckily I have another one so I can add it to my new cover. But how cute is this? It's me and Kyle, and we're just, oh, I love this cover. Anyway, so moving into the new kaleidoscope pattern. How cool are they? They have so many fun new patterns out. I really like all of them. Probably going to be ordering some more. I got the gold coil with the colorful um, tabs and insides. You can also do a neutral if you're down for that. It's totally up to you. But I really love the colors this year just because they are more muted, which is definitely more my vibe. And yeah, so I just really liked it. So on the inside, you get the classic docket on the side for a wet erase, so you can do whatever you want there. And then a semi-transparent, I guess, what is it? Opaque fly leaf, right? And a spot to put your name. I've seen a lot of people also use that to do memory keeping and they put pictures on the front cover. Erin Condren is known for having adorable quotes. And then you get your year at a glance. I'm gonna be showing you guys how I use transparent dot stickers with this for travel and work schedules, events. Basically, this planner is going to be filled with a lot of big things because we have a lot going on in the next year. It's gonna be a big year, so this planner is going to be so full and I am so excited about it. I'll definitely be sharing more with you guys on some of these life changes as they kind of come up. But for right now, this is going to be used for work and travel schedules for me and for Kyle. Now this next section I'm gonna show you guys, I used to use it for monthly goals and events and things like, the, like an oversee of the month. However, I've seen people use this for bucket list ideas, for home projects, for what they're reading in the month. So I'm not totally sure what I want to put here. And I think I'm going to hold off until we move into our new home because I have a feeling this might en end up being used for home projects. So we're holding off there. There's, I like that it's blank so you really do get the option. And now this is technically supposed to be for July. However, I didn't really use the planner in July, so I think this is gonna end up being a yearly goals page. And then I'll also do my coil clip vision board in here as well. And then we're moving on to July. And because my other planner had July in it, this 
July in the new planner is a great spot for me to just kind of do like a trial run. So I wasn't super picky. I get really uh, paralyzed when I start a new planner because I'm like, oh, it needs to be perfect. And I want the layout to look beautiful and I don't want to write in it. It takes me like two weeks. Like I'll stare at the planner. I'm like, I'm going to do something with you. And then I just, I have to get all kinds of inspo. But I've seen a lot of people use that section for memory keeping. Might do it. Uh, we'll see. And then you get birthdays and uh, I'll probably end up doing birthdays and events and important dates, monthly goals, a blank spot, and then a grid system. I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I used it. So stay tuned, stay tight. We're getting there, but I want to show you all of the pages blank first. I really like the month at a glance this year. It's a little more minimal. You have more free range with the color scheme. This will be where we put our travel dates, schedules, important information and events, probably bills. And then I've seen a lot of people use uh, the margins in the beginning of the month to use these adhesive sticky notes to put all the stuff that's gonna be happening in the month before committing to the actual date. So I think that's a really great idea and I'm probably going to end up doing that. And then when we get to the weekly spread, this is where I'm going to be color coding and keeping all of our home to do's, our bills, where and when we're going places, trying to keep track of everybody's schedule. I love that this has a spot for like a weekly brain dump. My last planner setup did not have that. So I'm very stoked about that. Then you have the following year at a glance, which I love this section because you can fill it out as events and priorities come up for the next year. So hopefully we have a lot going on this year with that house, maybe a ring, I don't know. I'm not putting any bugs in Kyle's ear, but you know, you can hope, right? And then the stickers that they chose this year are gorgeous. I love that they did um, functional planning, but also some fun decorative stickers instead of just the like little um, graph stickers, I guess, or bar stickers, whatever you wanna call them, the rectangles. So the stickers were really fun this year and I love them. And I actually really do like the new, I don't know, what are we calling these? Rect rectangle stickers. And then you get a pocket in the back with the perpetual calendar. If you guys have any tips, let me know, like what should we use this for? Because I wanna use everything. Um, I hate when you get something and you like feel like you can't use it, but there's also a password um, tracker in there as well, but it's just like a running calendar. So what do you guys use this for? I want to know. Okay, so let's talk must have accessories for this year. The Planny Pack is a definite. If you guys haven't gotten one yet, I highly recommend it because when I used to travel, I would bring like all of my planner stuff with me and it just got way out of hand. The Planny Pack is awesome because it has an elastic band. You just put it around your planner and you're good to go. There's a zipper pocket on the top and a pocket in the back so you can put all of your stickers and pens. This is a, uh, one that I have around my Erin Condren hardcover notebook, which is like a bullet journal travel notebook for me. And I love the planning pouch to go with it. I'm all about the coordination, you guys. Then I also got the Ocean Dual Tip Marker Set, which I love because these are the color code colors for me and Kyle, which was so not pre-planned. Samantha, thank you so much for sending me these because it actually worked out so perfect for my color code system. So I don't know why I didn't do the label maker for the key. I might end up going back and redoing it, but I also am gonna be doing a key for the year at a glance. So that way, when I'm looking at the transparent dots, I know what they mean because it's totally not gonna work if I don't know what they mean. So I just used a label maker and I cut my own little card and I put some washi tape on it and a coil clip. And I just cut the coil clip down to size and I've got myself a nice little key for my year at a glance. Okay, so let me show you the progress that we have made on this new planner setup. So in the beginning, I have the clip-in um, sticky notes with the kaleidoscope pattern and my DIY key. I just showed you guys how I cut some of the backings from the packaging and made myself a little key. I love the colors this year. It's so mermaidy because the colors are muted kind of like a muted jewel tone and I just think that they're really nice and I really like them so very stoked about all of that and then in the front of the planner where the year at a glance is I also made a key and I just used a label maker which I'm probably going to go back and do that for the big key as well but it's just really helpful because it's like how do you know what the dots mean so I think this ends up looking so nice 
So I'm still not totally sure what we're doing with this spot. Like I said, we are going to feel it out as we progress in this new year, but stay tuned because I will totally do another setup and show you guys what I ended up using this for. Like I said, I'm gonna be using this for my yearly goals and vision board. Then I gave this a dry run. However, I have a couple changes which I will show you in the next slide. At the beginning of the month, you get a piece of paper that color coordinates. So I'm using it as a brain dump to just kind of organize everything in one spot that needs to get done this month. And then the beginning docket has a daily, weekly, and monthly house and shore area. So I can just kind of make sure that I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do in the home. And then <clears throat> I made sure that my monthly goals lined up with my yearly goals, so it's an action item that really will get me to the next step, or like I like to say, move the needle to get closer to my goals. And I did leave the box empty, the other box below where I'm pointing, Haley, point to the other box. There we go, girl. I probably am gonna put um, projects or Bible verses. I know, completely different things, but I haven't decided yet. And then this was just kind of like a trial run for this week, just to kind of see how it works putting my to-do list, the home to-do list, and then like what Kyle's up to in there because at some point I'm gonna be keeping track of his schedule because I'm gonna need to know where he is. <laughs> and it worked out pretty well. Still doing trial runs, seeing how the color code system works. I'm sure as we move into the year, it'll get easier and flow more, but I'm super excited to try this out and have more of like a home planner and then not just have it be like everything that I need to do. This is going to be more family and home based. Now I used a monthly deluxe notebook for my budget system, which I will probably do again, but I'm not gonna purchase it until we actually move because I just won't need it yet. But I'll probably keep some financial stuff in here as well, like paydays and when bills are due. And then I'm thinking about using these back pages to kind of keep track of those bills. If you guys use this for financial stuff, let me know because I could totally use the help. And then the graph area I'm gonna use for maybe like savings tracker. I don't know, what do you guys think? I already have my habits down pretty packed, but maybe I'll put habits there or like self-care stuff. I don't know. Give me some tips. I wanna know what to do for those pages. Put the birthday page back in there. Now for let's keep in touch, I'm gonna to be using this because we're moving to a new state and I feel like I'm gonna need the numbers and contacts of people um, in the state that like our new electrician or our realtor, whatever it is for the new house, like just random, random people's names, um, if that makes sense. And then that was the whole setup, guys. I I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my new Erin Condren life planner. I'm excited to just work through this. There's going to be a lot of changes in the next year, and I think you guys are going to love seeing how I end up planning in this, so stay tuned. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I know you don't want to miss out, but this video is also a giveaway, so check the description box. I have all of the rules down there for you guys. It's going to be predominantly over on the IG, so check out my Instagram, at Haley Cairo, and I just want to say thank you to Samantha. She always hooks me up, and takes such good care of me every year with my Aaron Condren goodies. So thank you so much, Sam. And I, but I am so stoked for the rest of the back to school series. I hope you guys are enjoying the rest of your summer and I will see you in the next video.